Hey everyone, good evening. Glad you guys are here. Uh, exciting to see you. I hope uh, you guys are all having a great, wonderful day. And uh, we are in for a major treat tonight. And I'm excited to have David uh, hop on. I'm excited to have him here with us. Give it a few minutes. But in the chat, this is what I want to make sure, guys, is any questions you may have, any questions that you have about Penny, any comments you guys have, throw that into the chat. Make sure you share. If you guys have a aha, if you have a win, if you have anything to share about Penny, the app, and or anything that it has, uh, you know, blessed you with so far, I would love for you guys to share that with David um, as he hops on here. And uh, man, I am just so glad to see so many faces. I won't lie to you. Um, this weekend was tough for me from a standpoint of not being at an event, not being around everyone, because I love to, you know, see everyone at events and uh, I was hanging out all by myself. So um, I am super, super excited um, to share with you guys tonight, have David share with you and, you know, talk about this amazing tool that is uh, Penny. So um, I want to be respectful of everyone's time. Thank you guys all for showing up on time. It's five o'clock somewhere. Well, it's five o'clock Pacific. It's five o'clock in Vancouver. It is, you know, whatever time, wherever it's at. And uh, thank you guys for joining in. And so I am going to introduce. So I've got to know David. Uh, how long ago was it, David? Was it uh, um, back in? Shoot, was it back in March or February that we connected? Yeah, Some, it's been a few months, so. It's been a few months, we, okay. Yeah, and we've, we've had the, uh, the pleasure of jumping on Zoom's midday and just accomplishing nothing except for just jibber jabbering. I'm sure if anyone's on, you know, knows Tyler, that happens, so it's totally oh, come on, dude. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I have, to, I have to acknowledge this. I was kind of slow to the party, uh, and I had to eat a lot of crow uh, with David and with Tanya Kirkpatrick, because Tanya had reached out to me and said, hey, you need to look into this. You need to, you know, talk to the rest of the fab. You need to talk to the executive leadership team about the Penny app, because it is absolutely amazing. And once I dug into it, I thought that. And um, just as a, as a real quick for you guys, if you're just getting started, here is the, the two things that I absolutely love about the Penny app. One, it keeps me organized. I don't, you know, the follow-ups, I don't have to have a system. It's just there. I do it. It's done. Number two is it helps me stay involved in my business. You know, with our new customers, with customers, with people, where's their auto ship, what product are they, what day of the week it is. So that's where I can feel like, hey, I'm connected. I know what's going on. And those are the two things that I'm most excited about with the Penny app and hope that you guys are seeing value in that already. So, um, how many of you, just kind of a real quick show of hands, we can kind of scroll through. Who's already downloaded the Penny app? Who's got it? Okay, hopefully all of you. That was part of your homework is to make sure that you downloaded it. And, you know, so with that, I'm going to turn it over to David and allow David to kind of uh, run with the show here. So kind of what my thought would be is it let him kind of explain a little bit deeper and then we'll take some time to uh, answer questions or comments or um, understanding about uh, the app and the tools all together here later. Sound good? Everyone shaking their head? Yes, no, maybe so. I'm sorry, I'm sweating like crazy. I, it is 90 degrees here. <laughs> it's hot for Spokane. I just got done taking care of my cows and it is sweaty. So I, if you can see beads of sweat on my forehead, um, it's not because I'm nervous. All right. So David, it's all yours, man. How are you? Thanks for having me. It's a, uh, it's a yeah. pleasure. And, and joking aside, it has been a pleasure to get to know you. And, and definitely when you did eat your crow, as you say, your support has been huge. So uh, thrilled to be here, thrilled to point your team. Um, you know, I jump on these zooms. They're super important for me for a number of reasons. One, um, if you would have seen my breakout and heard a bit about my story, uh, you know, my wife started a direct sales business. And I saw an opportunity to build this application to support her. Um, 
And I love supporting each and every one of you. Like I come from the field, right? I know your struggles. I know your pains. You know, I quit my job with three kids under the age of four at home to start building this to help Terry. That's my wife. And now it's obviously grown up. It's not just me and Chris. It's me and 25 people here. So getting on the team Zooms, engaging with you, meeting you, learning from you and listening is super important to me because I love to hear what works. I love to hear your questions and I love to hear your ideas. Right, we can, we're good at writing code and building software that solve problems. So that's why I'm excited to come in tonight. So my, my big goals tonight, I mean, it's brand new, it's exciting. You guys got so much thrown at you over the weekend. I want everyone leaving here tonight going, I got it. I'm super confident and comfortable in how this works and how I'm gonna implement it in my business. So tonight, the training is kind of, I'm gonna take you through kind of what a customer journey would look like from a brand new prospect that Penny suggested I reach out to all the way through the customer care cycle, all the way to the end. And just using this one person as an example, just so everyone can kind of follow along. And in doing that, I'll show you all the little tips and tricks and functionality within the platform. And then we'll pause for some questions. Tyler, if you want to be the, the champion and then uh, you know, moderate that chat for me and fire any questions over, we can get through them. I have an hour dedicated solely to you guys. As you can imagine, I got a few of these team trainings going on right now. Um, so get them out, don't hesitate. You ask a question, you will never hurt our feelings. We're here to support you, right? I can only build stuff as good as I know. So I need, you, I need your help in this. So that's your role. Do you understand my role? Um, so I'm gonna share my screen, take you through. Uh, I'm just gonna show you the computer version, the desktop. One thing I can just say right off the bat, um, the mobile works the same. However, there's been a few people that have been experiencing issues on mobile iOS. I'll be the first one to jump right in front of it and say, this is Steve Jobs' fault. It's buried deep in the iOS code. Chris is in the back. I got a microphone so you can't hear him cursing. Uh, we're working on it. We'll get it done as soon as possible. So if that's you and you are struggling, we are on it. Tyler's been texting me be like, are you done yet? Like, I'm, I'm going to get some donuts for my wife when I'm back. Are you going to do yeah, that? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone saw that on Instagram. Yeah. Uh, it look like good donuts. Anyway, I'm gonna share my screen. Yeah. And I'm gonna share this one with you. All right, if you see me looking over here, it's because all your beautiful faces are on my other monitor. And I'm just gonna open the chat so I can see it. Tyler, can you see that all right? Yes. Yep, sweet. So you're looking at the prospecting section in Penny, and this is where our, our journey is gonna start tonight. And if you've downloaded Penny and you've already synced Facebook and Instagram, perfect. Uh, for the next one minute, I'm gonna to talk to people who haven't. Um, if you came here for the first time, one of the big advantages of Penny is that we can just connect you directly with your social networks, sync everyone in in a matter of minutes and just really help streamline communication um, and just really make it easy to fill your funnel and start more conversations. The way I always look at it, the more conversations you have, the more momentum you build in your business, the more momentum you have, the more belief you have and the bigger you grow. That's just, it's a simple fact. So when you, if you get here the first time and there's a big screen that says download Chrome on it, the reason it says download Chrome is you have to be using Google Chrome as your web browser. If you've never seen it, it looks like this one right here. We use a service from Google to connect with Facebook and Instagram. So you have to use Google Chrome. You might have it on your computer. If you don't, downloading is dead simple. Going through the whole syncing Facebook and Instagram process is also really, really simple if anyone's done it. But I would just like to say that right off the bat just so you know. So now when I'm jumping into this presentation, it's going to assume I've already synced Instagram and Facebook. Now you can add a prospect manually. You know, maybe you want to add someone right here. You can click add a prospect. You can sync phone contacts. You can sync Instagram. You can face, sync Facebook. And Penny's going to also suggest five people every day from your social network for you to start a conversation with. And the goal here is not to say, hey, these five people Penny's suggesting are absolutely going to buy from me. I mean, that would be absolutely wonderful if, if it was. The goal here is to eliminate, and reduce the amount of time you're scrolling through Instagram and Facebook going, who should I talk to? Oh, who should I talk to? And what we've found is that it's just so easy just to have start new conversations. You're not necessarily gonna say, hey, you know, buy my products. You might just be re-engaging with someone you went to high school with, re-engaging with an old friend, maybe a family member, and just again, having more conversations. So. For this example, let's say Penny suggested David Abbey as someone that I should reach out to, to start a conversation with. So I haven't talked to David since high school. I just want to re-engage with him. Anytime you click on someone's name, no matter where you are in Penny, it's going to open up this little thing here. We call this the task pad. This is kind of my, my cheat sheet, my battle card. Probably whatever I need is going to be right here. So here I can obviously complete 
this task. I've reached out to him. I can reschedule it. Like I'm going to get donuts for my wife. I'm going to do this next time. I'm going to reschedule this task for tomorrow. I don't want to reach out to David. I'm going to remove that. And down here, if I've connected with Instagram, you can see it's connected here. So if I click on this, I want to go send David a message. I just tap on that. There we are. Now I can quickly catch up with David because I haven't talked to him in a while. What's going on in David's life? You can tell I went for ice cream with my daughter on the weekend, actually, right after Tyler was messaging me about the donuts. <laughs> That's where I was. Um, and I can quickly go through and say, hey, this is what's going on with David. So now when I send him a message, it's easy for me to catch up and personalize my message to him. Like, hey, man, I haven't seen you in a while, but you keep up my feed. You know, your family's, you know, growing. That's incredible. Whatever that message is. Now, the cool thing here is right here on every task pad is this little button called content. Here is everything Isogenix has already created for you to share. So maybe David's, I know David's interested in the whole food. So I type in whole food. There it is right there. This is the whole food blend video. I hit select. This little link right here, it, I can now share this directly with David on Instagram or on Facebook or in a text message. I'm just gonna click back. The other thing you can see here, it says seasonal shake script or box opening script. This is one of those pro features. I can actually create my own scripts and save them. So if I'm using them regularly, I don't have to reinvent the wheel every time and be like, man, I really sent Tyler that message that one time. It was so good. What did I say? You can save that script so it's actually right there for you. So I'll close that. So now you've messaged David the first time. Complete the task. So important to follow up. You really fall on your face if you send someone a message and then you never follow up. It's a really bad start. So when do we want to follow up? Uh, let's just say tomorrow. Here you can add notes. You know, haven't spoke to Dave in a while. Great to reconnect, whatever it might be. And the other thing right here is Penny will always ask if you want to add a tag to the profile. So the way the tags work is all of your prospects, I highly recommend always adding a tag if you're talking about a specific product line, you know, uh, the wellness, Isoline, Amped, as you can see, I've already done this example. Uh, maybe it's just weight loss. I spoke to Dave and he's interested in weight loss, so I can save that. Now you can see I've got these other few people I want to work through. I can easily reach out to these people. Here I can see my activity on the side. Here I can flip between my month activity. Ooh, really didn't do a lot in May and June. Do you want to know why? Because I was pulling out every stop to get this thing built and into your hands. So I didn't do much, but I can get back to it now. So the other thing when I'm looking at this list, when I sync with my Facebook and my Instagram, one of the things Penny does for me, which is super, super, super important, is she's going to go through all my friends all 100 of them. And she's going to go look through all my customers and she's going to automatically match up customers profiles for me. So David Abbey, my friend on Facebook, David Abbey, my customer in my back office, Penny will automatically merge those two profiles together for me. Now my wife is Terry Lynn on Facebook and she's Terry Abbey in the back office. Penny can't automatically merge those two together, but there's a really simple way for you to merge them in people's profile. She's gonna do that for all my personally enrolled associates. But the really cool thing is she's gonna look through all of your friends to see who out of your social friends Penny knows is already an associate and automatically categorize them for you so that they don't end up in your funnel right here as recommended prospects. Let's say for example, Diane Jenkins is an associate. Penny didn't know that her social profile is an associate. I'm like, well, I wanna get rid of this. I click on her name, I click remove. Penny's gonna ask me, why are we removing Diane? Because she's an associate and she's in another line. Any one of you that are friends with Diane will have her automatically tagged probably around 10 o'clock tonight uh, as an associate and she'll be removed from your prospect list automatically. So the more and more people that use Penny, the smarter she actually becomes in helping you organize your own contacts for you, which is huge. So I'm gonna go back. So here's my list of reach outs, right? So tomorrow, there's this follow-up task that we just created for David, right? So let's say I reached out to Dave a few days ago and now I fast forward a few days, now I'm following up with him. Now it might be two conversations, it might be 10 conversations, but the important thing is about building that relationship, engaging with him, learning about him. Why is this gonna fit into his life? It's not just like, hey, buy my products and you know, move on. Why does this mean something? And, and you know, lean into it and be like, I'm gonna give you the best experience and you're gonna love what myself and my company has to offer. So again, I can come in, I'm gonna send him some additional information because he asked for it. What do we wanna send him? Maybe we wanna send him the uh, 
Isogenix video. So I click that, there it is right there, Isogenix Explained or the Isogenix Advantage Full. I can now select those videos and share it to them. And again, really easy. Of course, when David opens it, Penny lets me know so I know what to say when I follow up. And I'm gonna build this relationship with him. At some point, he's gonna say, yeah, you know what, David, I'm in, let's do this. I'm gonna be a customer. I'm ready for that next step. Now, the cool part is, is because we're connected directly to your back office, once he becomes a customer, everything becomes fully automated for you. So you jump over to customer care, which is this next little button on the side here. As Soon as he orders, Penny's gonna create a task for me that's for my box opening. So this is the, this is the fun one. So he ordered a few days later, Penny's like, hey, it's David's box opening. Now when I'm gonna go call David, Penny's like, all right, this is what he ordered. And now, so seeing this order details here, this is a pro feature. One of the other pro features that's coming out, I think in the next like, couple of weeks, Penny's gonna recommend content that you could share for products that he ordered. Like, hey, Dave, he, David ordered the, uh, the wellness pack. Well, here's a video about the wellness pack. So you can get going, right? We're just gonna, again, always drive forward so you, to make your lives as easy as possible. So here, I'm gonna, you know, again, call David, but chances are I'm enrolling like crazy because I'm on fire right now. So I'm gonna go into my content. I'm gonna access my box opening script right there. I'm gonna send him my script. Hey, David, your box arrived. Let's find some time to jump on the phone and go through this. I wanna get you set up for success, right? Complete that task. Next. So as David goes through his first month, right? It's, it's a big first month. If everyone remembers their first month, it's tough. The joke around here is that I almost ate my desk. I was so hungry the first time I cleansed. And today is actually Monday. I don't eat on Mondays anymore. I'm doing pretty good. So, but the first month right here, Week one, week two, week three, Penny's gonna create tasks for you to check in with your customers. So this is my first week. David, how are you doing? You know, it's been a few days. You're probably starting to feel good. Your energy might be picked up a bit. Week two, and you're probably loving it. Week three, let's get into that. And of course, I can just see exactly what he ordered. So I know exactly what I'm talking about. And then week four comes around, my auto ship's coming up. So now it's like perfect. That just, I didn't have to do anything. I didn't wonder what he was ordering, when he was ordering anything. Penny's just creating all these tasks for me. Now my auto ship's coming up and it's about engaging with them. David, it's been the full month. Like, how are you feeling? Like, I am so excited for you. Here's what's in your cart. Now it's always an opportunity for you to recommend more products or things that they might love or tips and tricks that you personally went through. But like, man, I love all these things. I carry ice lane bars with me everywhere because sometimes I just want to skip lunch and that just gets the job done, right? And that's all there for you. But one thing might happen where your customer enrolls, they go through the first few weeks and they didn't enroll for lifestyle rewards, right? So there's a little button here on the side that says connects. So your connects are connect 25, 45, and 80. And what that stands for is connect with your customers 25 days after their last order if they're not on lifestyle rewards. So David here in this example, he ordered, but he didn't enroll for lifestyle rewards. So 25 days ago, he ordered these products, but he doesn't have an auto ship coming up. So I want to get engaged with them because these products work in 30 day cycles. Hey, I know you're loving it. You know, you didn't enroll for lifestyle rewards. Let's do that. Or Marco and Lou here, they haven't ordered in 45 days. So they are going to, you know, you're going to want to engage with them to get them back 80 days. Brady and Mita here, they haven't ordered in 80 days. What, do you know why they stopped ordering? Right? This is Penny's kind of poking you to say, if you don't know why these two or three or four people stopped ordering, is it because they had the wrong products? Something changed, too much work, they couldn't get into the routine. Like there, there's so many reasons. I mean, like I could give you a thousand reasons why I should crush a bag of chips later and not go to the gym, right? I'm pretty sure everyone's like, mm-hmm. So these, Tyler, I see you laughing, thinking about those donuts again. So, and again, the brilliant part here is I didn't enter any of this information. Like I, I, you know, I, I programmed David Abbey as our example on this journey that we're taking David through. But all of these order informations, this happens automatically. You don't enter any of it. Melissa here, she ordered 80 days ago. That's what she ordered. So David Abbey, here we are. So then the other thing in here, this is really cool. Say David doesn't order 25, 45, 80 days. He goes into a section called the reconnects. So a reconnect is someone who has an order between uh, six and 12 months. So this is your group that's falling through the cracks. And some people, if you sign up, there might be more names on this, this list than you like. My recommendation is just to re-engage with them. 
find out what happened. If you haven't talked to them in six months, it's such a great opportunity. Click on their profile. This is what fake David here ordered, uh, you know, August 4th last year. But here's gets really cool. Now I want to dig in a little bit more. So now I want more information. So now I click that view profile button in the top right hand corner. You can see here that uh, David lives in Burlington, Ontario, which is not true. I'm just north of Tyler in Canada. Um, it's scattered clouds. It's 32 degrees. Here I can jump over to his Facebook profile so I can dig in a little bit deeper. I can open up his Instagram. Here's what he ordered on August 4th. Here I can go into his activity and actually start looking into what he actually ordered you know, that time ago. So now I can really start to look into like, figure out what might have gone wrong. And I can go into the profile. Here's David's information. And I click tags. And here Penny automatically tags all of your customers with every product they've ever ordered. So now I can start to look through to see what he was ordering, what, what flavors he was ordering and inform myself. So if I'm gonna reconnect with a customer, I know everything I could possibly need to know to have a really intelligent conversation with him. Look like I know exactly what I'm talking about, but also look like I really care about how his life and health is going, right? And all of this is for you in every customer's profile in the exact same spot. So once you see it once, you'll be able to find it again and again and again and again. So like David Abbey, view profile, it's all right there for you. So that's the, you know, the, the, the journey that your customers are going to take from being recommended to engaging with them, whether it be three or 10 or 20 times in that prospect follow-up cycle, you know, demonstrating that you are on top of your business and you are the right person to buy from into the customer care cycle and moving through all these touch points. But there's one here at the bottom that I didn't put in. Ice and body challenge, right? You now have visibility into your ice and body challenge customers. So when they enroll, Penny's like, hey, great. David just enrolled, shout him out, cheer him on. Like he's about to go on and embark on a mission. As he moves through, Penny's gonna create tasks for you at the four, eight, and 12 week mark. And if they don't hit their 125 BV requirements at week one, or sorry, month one, or the 250 at month two, Penny's actually gonna let you know that so that when you talk to them, you could say, hey, next order, we gotta make up a few BV because I don't want you getting to the finish line and having 498 BV. Like that would be, that would be a bummer. But in this example, Penny's letting me know that David finished, but he hasn't submitted his photos to be eligible. So now when I follow up, I'm like, David, I can't believe you did it, but you got to make sure you get your photos in or else you're going to miss that. So, and it's all, again, this happens hundred percent automatically for you. So you actually don't have to really do anything except for show up. Now to make it even easier for you, I don't know if I can make it any easier, the daily, which is this top button. This is your landing pad when you open up Penny on your computer. This is where it lands on your phone. This is where Penny curates a small list of activity for you to focus on every day. So really you don't actually need to go into the other sections. Now, if you're at home and you've got a few kids and life's super busy and you can only fit this in in little pockets of time, my recommendation, come in here. I've got four people I need to reach out to today. Kara, Karen, Kelsey, and Holly, and I've already reached out to David. As I come in here, right, Karen, I'm gonna come in here. I'm gonna access you know, a cold reach out script that I created. I'm gonna send that and I'm gonna complete it and I'm gonna follow up in two weeks. Add some notes. Nope, adding tags, save. Now let's say I've got those three kids at home, which I actually do have three kids and my day goes crazy. If I put Penny down for a moment and I leave, I come back, I spend approximately one second figuring out where I left off. It's right here. I was reconnecting with two people that hadn't ordered since last fall. I can complete those tasks. I can leave my kids, one kid threw a truck at the other kid. That's fine. I can leave, I can come back and I can get into my follow-ups and I can come in here every single day. Penny fills this up for me. And if I'm on the easy does it setting, this is the three kids at home during quarantine setting. This is the two kids, crank it up. You got two kids at home during quarantine. That's right there. So crank it up just increases the activity. Freight train over here. This is the no kids at home during quarantine setting. This is all the activity. You have no excuses, all there. So you can see now I got 11 reach outs to do, 55 people to reconnect with. And that's, now I'm just working through this every single day and Penny's filling this up for me. So I'm not wondering where I need to start from. I'm not wondering what I'm supposed to do next. I'm not wondering who I'm supposed to talk to. And I'm certainly not wondering what they ordered. So this is how I do this. So I come in here, connect 25, and there's me again. 
such a good photo of me, by the way. <laughs> Just saying. Um, now I know exactly what David ordered. Now I'm going to connect with him. And I'm going to pause right there because I just covered the basics of a brand new associate, what their life is going to look like, syncing Facebook and getting this thing started, right up to managing their customers all the way through the customer care cycle at each key touch point. And we're, I want to pause, open it up for questions. I've seen a lot of chats coming through. Um, and then after this, I'll go in to show you how to create custom lists and also how to create your own content. And I'm going to explain a bit about the My Business section and what is coming within that section uh, in a moment. So I'll pause there. Unmute Sweet. yourself. All right. So um, I'm going to keep people muted because I and we're recording this. I'll read through the questions. If I miss something, just let me know. But uh, the first question is, is this, is this the free or the pro version? Uh, great, great question. So the, the daily is in the free version. Actually, let me just say what the pro versions are. So in the customer care section, the pro features in here are going to be accessing all your order history. And if you go into the content section, your scripts that you create are, are pro. Everything from Isogenics is free. Okay. So it's just, yep. Um, prospecting section, everything is included in the free version. Uh, we do have some enhancements coming to this section that will be a, a part of the pro package. And then the other ones that are pro are going to be your custom lists. I said the content that you create and then my business. So those are going to be the, the, the big differences right there. Sweet. Okay, perfect. Uh, let's move along. Now this answer, this question has been asked a few times, a few different ways. Do we have to add the content? Is the content there for us? You know, we had some of the scripts. Um, yes. Uh, we preloaded all of the content for you from Isogenics. So they gave us everything. So if you sign in today and click on content, and now I'm just kind of getting ahead of myself in the tour, all library content right here, this is Isogenics. This is all there for you, perfect. So let's say there was this amazing commercial at Celebration about this new personal assistant that Travis introduced. And I'm so excited, I wanna share that to Facebook. So I click share to Facebook. And I say, this is awesome. And I can share that to my wall. I can share that to a group, to an event, or in a private message directly from that content library. And every one of you can do this today. It doesn't matter which version of, of the app you're using. Over here, if I am crushing through reaching out and following up and onboarding new customers and going through box openings and engaging at every level, I'm going to want to save all my scripts. So this is where you'd be a pro version. You'd come in here to your scripts, click add content, um, type in your script name. Here it is. Here I can add a link to, maybe I wanted a, um, a link to my replicated website. And my script could just be called link to website. Hey, here's the link to my website as promised. And then just type in, you know, whatever that is, or I can upload images of my own. Yes. So that was so one of the things that, um, and I, there was a question about this is, you know, so any of this kind of like scripts content you need to make for yourself. I hope and think you had mentioned this, that there might be a possibility later where people can easily with the penny app, share that content in between others. Is that, am I getting uh, too ahead? You're, you're, you're getting a little bit. I like that about you. You're, you're forward thinking Tyler. I'll give you that. <laughs> I put um, pressure on you, dude. I just told 203 people, come on, dude, get with it. That's yeah, fine. It's fine. I, I, I overpromise all the time. Uh, um, there is another version of Penny that we have in the works. And essentially, um, the, the working name we just have is Two Star, uh, where it's going to come out and it's just going to be a more robust capability. So uh, Tyler will have the ability to create scripts and share it with everyone in, in his organization. So these are Tyler's like top three scripts. So they would be in there for you. Okay. Um, so that's one of the uh, more enhanced capabilities that come with that. And when I get to the my business section, I'll explain uh, the team care section, which team care and creating scripts go hand in hand together. So we'll get to that in a sec. Sweet. All right. So I don't want to get too far ahead. Let me get back um, to some I, of these questions. I, Ashley Taylor just said, can you share it on Instagram? Uh, that's coming out pretty quickly. So, and we are going to work really closely with uh, the team over in, in Phoenix to get all of those Instagram shareables in here as well. So you'll be on your device. You can come into the content images, 
share it to Instagram and just pop that right up right away. And then they will be responsible for creating it and getting it in there for you. And then we just serve it up for you to make it really easy to do. Um, Melody had a question in regards to Instagram. So we'll stay right there. If sharing to Insta off penny, uh, will Instagram algorithm <laughs> see this as not social since it's third party sharing? That's a good question. Let me, uh, write that yeah. down. Let Chris deal with it. <laughs> no, that that's one of our other engineers actually, oh, okay. um, well. who that, uh, that built all this. I uh, like built the sharing functionality specifically. So not, uh, not sure, but I'll figure that out and I will get back to you. I know Amy's on here. So hopefully that's a question that she uh, writes down for you guys. Yeah. Um, great question, Melody. Those are the things that I love that David is always receptive for, as you just saw that, Hey, how can we help? And great. Mm -hmm. More minds think better. Um, one of the questions here, and you know, we didn't go into, if you had a prospect, say you met someone, they're not in social media, they're not in your phone, how do you add a person? Now, the question with too is, is well, wait, say for example that you know, it hasn't uploaded where you have a customer and yet it's not in Penny. How do you handle that? Sorry, if I understand you chat out there for a sec. So you're saying, how do I add a prospect in here? Correct, uh, that's just on question so one. So here you'd say add a prospect. Their name is Tyler. Uh, and they live in Spokane. Uh, here, uh, right, because I got to communicate to, with you. Don't enter your email. Click next. When are we going to reach out? Mm, today. Don't there we go. Way. There you go. Save that. So that's how you add them in. Okay. So now say, for example, someone finds a customer that's not in Penny, what should they do? Uh, if a customer is not in Penny, that's a great question because that shouldn't happen. Um, this little blue button here in the bottom corner, that's your best friend. Questions, concerns. Hey, I think I broke Penny. Um, something's not working right. <laughs> Just right here, the send a message button. That's going to open up a direct chat to our team. Uh, and we're going to get back to you as quickly as we can. Um, all of the data comes directly from Isogenics. So it, if in the event it stumbled along the way, we know exactly where to go get it. So it shouldn't take us long. But yeah, if that happens, just send a message right through here and we'll get that for you. So we were talking about sharing content, sending it to people. Does Penny let you know how much of the video or if they viewed, viewed the video, uh, uh, how much? Yeah, it does let you know if they viewed it. Uh, a later iteration will probably include like David watched uh, okay. X percentage of it. Um, here's another one is Will, and I know you have LinkedIn there. Is Penny going to be able to interact with LinkedIn? Uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I'm in the hot seat. I'm like, uh, that is correct. Can I call a friend? Chris, um, Chris are you here? <laughs> yeah, can you call a friend? Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, let's see if it suggests to reach out to someone and you miss it or don't do it, does it just disappear or never until you complete remove or reschedule? Correct. That's all right. No, no. It, it, what it'll do is, um, if say, here's my list of reach outs for the day, if I don't do these today, they're going to be there tomorrow. Like if my daily setting here right now, it's on the freight train, if it's on easy, does it? That's five new conversations a day, right? That's the goal. So here I've already done a few. Oh, look, see, there's my reach out for Tyler. Um, it won't stack up. You know, if I don't do this for three days, I'm not going to have 15. I'm still just going to have five. The only time a task will disappear is in your customer care section. So I'm going to flip over to that. Right here at the top, it says two tasks expiring. Right here, Brady and Mita. What happens in the customer care cycle is just an endless loop, right? And it's a fluid, it's always moving. Your customers are moving through this. So when Penny creates a task for you uh, to connect with Mita because you haven't talked to them in 80 days, that task is gonna live there for seven days. And if you don't do it, it expires, it expires tomorrow. But 80 days at the three month mark, Penny creates a task for you to reconnect with them. And the reason we do that is because if tasks go overdue, people do less. And we've studied this with tens of thousands of people. So the way the customer care cycle works is if I don't do, you know, if I don't connect with David after 25 days, after seven days of this task being here, Penny will remove it, but she's going to create David's task for connect 45. 
So he's not going to disappear. He's not going to go away. You're not going to miss this. Um, but really this little icon here is it's meant to just draw attention to it and go, Oh, right. Brad, I got to do that today. I got to, you know, connect them. Cause if I don't, it's just going to become a reconnect. Right? So that's, that's the only time tasks will remove themselves, but there will always be another action there for you. Um, when does the highlight, you know, the expiring, how many days into it does that pop up? Uno. One day. Tomorrow. Okay. Yep. Um, the next question, you know, kind of along those lines, a little bit along those lines. Um, so, and, and I think Kelly kind of answered this in the chat. It's something you're working on and just bring it up to answer it is there's a lot of people that have say gaps in their, uh, you know, in their team, their enrolling sponsors, no longer involved. Um, you know that you're actively working with them. You're really the one helping them. Is there something coming down the path to be able to adopt, to, you know, uh, connect some of those dots? I feel like you guys are reading our playbook here. This is so, oh, you guys are good. Uh, yeah, it's, it's actually called orphan and adoption. Uh, and it works exactly like that. So we've got Tyler, we got Amy, we got Nick, and then we got David. And I'm a customer and I'm still ordering and I'm, I'm you know, active. But, you know, Amy and Nick, I guess, were the associates above me and they're, they're gone but I'm all by myself. Penny will actually surface me to the next leader who's active and say, Hey, David is, you know, this orphan down here. Uh, do you want to adopt him? And you'll click the little adopt button and David will be in your customer care cycle and all the tasks for all your customers, David will just be brought right in there for you. The difference here is when you adopt him, Penny will let you know where David came from. So you know where he fits in your organization. <laughs> Love it. Um, yeah, that, that's, that's one of those enhancements that's coming uh, a little later on uh, yeah. down the road. But uh, we figured that one out. On, we figured that task out the first day we saw your back office. We're like, what about all these people? Uh, yeah. So yeah, it's just, you know, Welcome we to our start here. You are solving them one at a time. I love it. Well, you'll be delighted to know that we have a meeting with IT later this week to discuss syncing multiple centers. Okay, so that answers... <laughs> kind of along those questions where that's a problem for me, uh, you know, and know. we've talked about that, but yeah. here's the deal is, and we have this, and I know, um, you know, this is, is different is how would you recommend it in your best suggestion? You have two people that operate, you know, kind of together, you know, husband and wife, people working at it together. How do they, in, in you know, they're enrolling into one. So how do they best utilize penny today? Yep. So, um, me, I create an account to go to David Abbey at davidabbey.ca. I, you know, create my penny account. I log into my wife and I center with our credentials. My wife creates an account, Terry at terryabbey.ca. She logs in to our back office. Now, then I sync my Facebook and it's going to automatically merge with the customers that are my friends and same for her. You can both work off the same center in separate penny accounts. The only catch there is, is if you both want to upgrade to pro, you're paying a premium, mm -hmm. unfortunately. So we can't do it where there's like one account with multiple logins connected to different social networks. That's a data nightmare, um, but it can be done, but that's just how it works. Perfect. Awesome. Yes. Love it. Hopefully Debbie, that helped you. Um, all right. So one of the questions, and I'm going to give you some, you know, time with your experience. Um, I think some people on in the chat have answered this, but I want to hear from your perspective. Um, does anyone else feel concerned about customer thinking it's weird to know what they ordered or no one cares and they appreciate that we know because we are doing something with the info? You want my opinion on that? Yeah, I do. I think you absolutely should know. How can you best serve your customers if you don't know what they're ordering, right? It, it, you are creating this experience. Like imagine going into Lululemon and them trying to help you, but they don't know what you ordered. Like Tyler, I wear the A-line pant, obviously, or the Align pant right? It's, it's, you got to inform them. You got to coach them. They might not know. Um, in my humble opinion, I want the person that is servicing me to know as much as they need to about my products and my objectives and my goals so that they can get me there, right? You guys on this call, you're the subject matter experts. You know what products, you know, the steps you've already gone through that transformation. You've already driven that ship. So let's empower you to get them there because they're successful. They're going to, they're a walking billboard, right? When people lose 10, 20, 30, 40 pounds, all of a sudden they can see the lines in their arms. Oh, they stand more like this and they walk around and they're excited, right? So absolutely you should know. Um, one of the questions, kind of a couple questions here at once looking at it. And thank you so much for that. 
because I appreciate that and love your perspective. I agree completely. And I've already seen that myself. I've seen that my conversations with people that have recently ordered, because here's the deal. I mean, I'll, I'll share this on their team. I'll share this anyway. Kelly and I don't collect people's information. She talked to someone about that today. I talked to the same person about it, two separate conversations. We don't. We send them a link. They enroll. I have no idea what they ever order. So now I know. Now I know it's in their back office and I can have much, much, much better conversations with them and ask them, hey, you know, how did you like that shake? What do you like best? And, you know, it, it gives us, gives me the better, uh, the ability to better connect. Um, so kind of jumping there again um, to something else is um, I have some customers saying they ordered the new products and shows them in Connect 45. So why would that be where it would have them, you know, in Connect 45 or does a customer re remain in reconnect even if you've reconnected and they're, you know, purchasing not at whatever. No, that sounds like something just might have, uh, sounds like one too many glasses of wine over the weekend. It was celebrational. Penny just needs to tone down a bit. Let me <laughs> No, um, that if, if they reorder that um, in theory, that should say, you know, they automatically, it should uh, reset itself. But if they've reordered, that just seems like it's a bit of a bug. So I will solve that problem for you. Thank you. Look at that. He's on it, guys. Um, all right. Here is one. This is a burning question. Meredith has probably asked me this 75 times in five days. In one of the earlier versions, pre-COVID, I know some people saw that there was a card send ability. Is yes. anything like that ever coming back? In your opinion, do you think that'll happen? Yes. Yeah, so for those of you that are wondering what this is, uh, we have a little robotic arm that holds a pen that looks just like this one. And it handwrites greeting cards, thank you cards, birthday cards, enrollment cards, big day cards, Christmas cards for you. It'll literally send it to this little machine, handwrite it for you, put it in an envelope, handwrite, handwrite the envelope and mail it for you. Then COVID hit and we decided not to ship envelopes all over America, so we turned it off. So if and when we get to a level of comfort again, yes, we will look at bringing that back. So wait. Yes. Meredith, there you go. Yeah, and, so, and that will be an upcharge. Of course it will be. Come on. Penny's got to make money. <laughs> yeah. There, I, actually, we didn't make any money on it. It was, it was more just because my wife used to complain relentlessly about going to the post office. And I was like, oh, I can fix that. So, that's what so there is, I'm going to put a timeout. You mentioned this earlier, guys, and I'm going to say this. This is what I love about you being, um, you know, it, it's a two-headed monster between you and Chris, but it's great, is the fact that you guys get that. And, and that's something I am so wildly appreciative because you saw your wife, you understood from the field what we go through. And that to me is why Penny is so great. I'm going to answer this question. Um, the ISA business, ice strength business is gone. You can't delete that sucker fast enough. Just go delete it. Don't spend another minute in it. Just spend all your time learning, working in Penny because um, ice strength business is just a waste of time and money. That's me unsolicited uh, commentary and advice. All right. I'll send that, that wire transfer. Work? Yeah. I'll send the wire transfer in the morning. Okay. Thanks dude. Yeah. Uh, I <laughs> no, prefer no problem. <laughs> we got that currency exchange. Okay. Um, well, I can't Venmo, right? So otherwise I would, but I do, um, I'll answer uh, Dewey's quickly. Uh, we're doing samples. That's going to come a little later this fall, but we're doing samples a little bit differently. Uh, the problem we want to solve for is what we did. We engaged with a lot of people that, that use the previous sample feature. Um, there's a couple issues we found. One, you can't send samples if you live in Canada, the UK, or Australia. And two, they took a while and you had no visibility. So the mm -hmm. problem that we're solving for is when you send a sample in Penny, you'll just click, you know, be a send, whatever it goes. Um, we're, we're just in the process of getting to d distribution centers, DCs in Canada, Australia, uh, Europe, and in America. But we're also putting them in multiple places in America. So if you live up in the Northeast, and you send a sample, it's not going to take four or five days to get there. It's going to get there in two days. And then we're actually going to track the shipping API directly in here. So you, it'll say, hey, David got a sample today. Like it actually delivered. Then Penny's going to create all of your follow-up actions in Penny for you. So it'll just be daily tasks. And we'll also suggest things to say in your sample follow-up to help you guide you from point of sending all the way through to actually getting them into the care cycle. So a bit of an evolution of what the product was in, in the first phase. Um, we just needed to be more efficient and, you know, and just better. 
So I have a very large request and there's a lot of people on this call. Um, we need to have either very quick shipping to Hawaii or a DC in Hawaii. Okay. We just need that. And there's a lot of people on here that will say thank you. And they, yeah, exactly. So just want to make sure I pointed that out. Uh, there's a lot mahalo, of them uh, <laughs> you, you might uh, even, here's the deal is I could imagine if you ever got to go to Hawaii, they would take care of you if that happened. Because uh, these, you know, I love they Hawaii. all, yes, there you go. All right. So uh, but I do, I do want to just show you, yeah, the yeah. one thing I didn't show you while I'm here is the custom list feature. We have 15 minutes. This will only take three minutes and then we can jump back into questions. Um, this is one of my favorite things in Penny that we can do because it's just dead simple. But I just want to make sure everyone sees this before we um, leave. And I feel like I could sit here in the hot seat for a few more hours. So uh, I'll just have to come back. Does that work for you? Yeah, go. Okay. So the custom list, ha, on with my tour. I finally got the microphone back. I take it away from Tyler. <laughs> Uh, so a custom list here is actually is exactly as it's a way for you to just instantly create a list to find your customers that you want to talk to, right? They just re released whole food um, or plant-based. I want to know a list of all my way based customers so that I can talk to them about the plant-based seasonal shakes come out. I want to know who all my previous seasonal shake customers were. How do I do that? Or one of my personal favorites. I want to know all of my amped customers that have never purchased a bar. Right? These are things we want to know, but we don't want to spend a lot of time uh, looking for that. So you use this feature called the custom list. So example A, dead simple, seasonal shake comes out. I love the, the name, the hokey pokey. I think an Australian associate actually sent me a sample, but it hasn't arrived yet. Um, so a seasonal shake comes out, you come down here. We have to pick an end date for our list because it may be it's an event. So Tyler's hosting an event at his house. Um, he wants all of his, his PE associates in Spokane so he could, you know, enter the list that the, the events on the 31st or the seasonal shake ends at the end of the month. Then I select who I want on my list. In this example, it's my customers. Here, are they active and inactive? Or maybe I just want to find the list of my inactive customers that previously ordered seasonal shake because that's a really great group for me to re-engage, right? Right? Hey, I know you're not ordering anymore, but I know you used to love this product we have it back, or I can do both. Here it says include people who have and then purchase these products. Now we tagged every product in the Isogenics catalog here. And as I said a moment ago, we automatically take all of your customers with every product they've ever ordered. So you instantly see that 27 people have purchased Seasonal Shake for me before. I hit save. Now Penny's gonna tally up the list for me. There she goes, 10, 15, 20, 25. 27, 27 customers that have previously purchased a seasonal shake for me in the last two years, right? Super simple for me to get this list. You probably want to talk to everyone about this product. This is where you want to start. So I click Shauna. Now, again, this is where we want to, this is why the pro feature is really good because now I got 27 messages I want to send. I hit content. I previously created my seasonal shake script. Now I can select it and I can send it through Instagram text email, Facebook, whatever it is. And if you're using the mobile phone, uh, when it works, um, <laughs> uh, you, <laughs> sorry, hey, I, 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 mean, I, yeah, I'm gonna, it's okay. I'm like bubble gum, I can make it work. You just gotta get past an IO, you know, an IS5 or whatever you're using. Oh yeah. So, but on the mobile phone, if you've ever used the feature called hit them up, it's basically a way to send a multi-message SMS, right? It's a large number of uh, text messages at one time. We built our own version. So in the mobile app, you, you can go and select your full list of customers, select our multi-message feature and select the content, hit send. And Penny will drop that message into a text with everyone on this list. And all you do is hit send. And it's dead yeah, simple. I haven't got to do that yet. It's pretty so, cool. So uh, we won't have time to, we won't have time. We won't have time today, but in the articles and videos section, which is right here, there is a five minute tutorial on how to use the mobile phone. I show you how to use the multi-message SMS for the list. So let's go Love back that. though. So here, this example, I'm gonna show you how to make a list of people who have purchased product A, have not purchased product B, right? You have so many different products. So I just call this one AB just to make it dead simple. Again, end of the month, 
Now here is a really great idea. Like if you're really wanting to be, you know, meaningful with your actions and drive volume into specific areas of your business, you might want to create one of these lists and just do this in your, you know, and focus on it. And the example I gave when I was coming into this is I want my active customers who have previously purchased an AMPT product. There's the AMPT tag, right? Include people who have purchased AMPT. Right here it says, but have not, but have not purchased Isoline bars. 21 people have purchased AMPT from me. They're active, but have not purchased the bars. Save that list. Now in my spare time amongst everything else I do, I'm gonna focus on this group and just say, you know, hey Tyler, I know you're, you're crushing it. Your performance is amazing. I just noticed that you've never ordered the bars and I know you're in the gym and I know you're really building. The bars are just the perfect thing to have in your bag when you walk out in case, you know, you, you get derailed and you, you, you know, I don't need to go to a donut store anymore. So maybe these are better for you. And it's just a way for you to really identify these segments of customers. You could also come in here and create a list of people who have just never purchased BIA, right? So you can come in here and do it that way. You don't have to find an A or a B. You could just find people who have never purchased a product. And then again, this is where you might want to come in and just say, hey, this month I'm really going to focus on this. Or next month I'm going to focus on that amongst all the other things. And when you create a, a custom list, shows up on your daily. So now it's part of my daily activity. So here's my seasonal shake customers. I can work on my list, you know, come in here. I'm going to send Chelsea a message on messenger. I'm going to complete that task. Cool thing is though, follow up tomorrow, save it. Now you can see I've done 4% of my activity. Everyone always likes to see how much they've done. So this is just going to dial up every day for you. Love it. And then I'm just going to jump into my business. Now you can see, I've got two cycles. I haven't done anything. I made it to a three-star golden executive. Of course, the joke is that's not true. Uh, I just typed that in and miraculously I'm there. Um, but this is the section I quickly wanted to touch on because we only have a few minutes left. This is the section that we're gonna be building out even more and adding a lot of data and a lot of intelligence into your business. So Tyler, you know, on a call last week, he asked, you know, how can I see who's enrolling, who's being active? So that's gonna come in. But the teen care section is a big one for us that's coming. And it's a basically gonna be a window into your entire organization where Penny using artificial intelligence will actually do real time trending on your entire organization and show you strengths and weaknesses. So Pen Penny's gonna say, hey, you know, Tyler down in you know, your PET4, he's enrolling like a madman. His PIVs are up, his activity is up. Shout him out and get him out on the team page and you know, let him share his story. Or flip that around, you know, David's down there and he's been trending negatively for four months. Everything is falling off. Let's get a hold of him and see how I can get him back to where he was because something might be going wrong. It, it could be anything, but let's just make sure he just doesn't fall by the wayside because that impacts your revenue. And that's just some of the stuff where Penny's gonna start surfacing this information for you. Orphan and adoption is a great example of how these things are gonna start evolving. Like what you see today is just V1 uh, and where we're going is gonna be, you know, wildly impactful just to service things to you, surface things to you so that you don't have to dig. That's the goal, right? Make it dead Part of simple. that team care I'm guessing is when dates are for people to hit like crystal manager, crystal director, crystal executive, correct? Yeah, so it'll start to build into your programs. Uh, automatically doing leader in action for you is one of the things that's gonna come in here so you don't have to print out that PDF anymore and track it that'll actually just be built right in this section. So you can just come in and do it for you. Um, but then also, you know, it was it the, the crystal reset, is that what it's called? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah. That, that would be built in here. So because we work so closely with, with HQ, we would just plan to build that in and you'd be able to monitor these things. Bomb, bomb. Agreed, um, totally agreed. So I think, you know, as I've been watching, as I looked at my little pad of questions here, let me just make sure um, I, you know, guys, I think that pretty much answered everything you guys had. Um, you know, I, I think here, here's what I'm going to usher in and correct me if I'm wrong, David. Um, what we see now is like you said, version one, there's a lot of things that are coming. Um, if someone says, Hey, um, you know, there's a feature that I'm used to because I worked in, you know, some other, I worked for Salesforce. I worked with whatever, they have an insight. 
would it be fair to say, hey, they suggest at least to your staff that they could look into based upon what they're experienced? Uh, 100%. So, uh, absolutely, 100%. So the, there's a really great example um, that someone uh, sent me a message. This is probably three or four weeks ago. And you know, everyone on here probably has a, a link tree on their Instagram or uh, a milkshake link, right? pretty fair assumption. So someone's like, hey, I've got this uh, milkshake link and it's pointing to all these things. And I created a Google form on here to answer some questions like, you know, what are you interested in the business products, whatever. And they exported all of these answers to an Excel spreadsheet. How do I get those into Penny? And I was like, well, you don't, but how about we build our own link tree that has forms built into it. So when people fill them out and answer questions, we feed that automatically into the prospecting section and create an action for you and tag them with the products or the interests that they have. And they're just like, oh my goodness. So it's just a really great example of how someone just reaches out with a question and we just kind of reverse engineer to say, okay, that's super beneficial. We totally understand that. Let us just think about how we could solve this and actually build it in. So you're gonna come down to your little profile here in the bottom corner you're going to enter in, you know, your big, beautiful face there, Tyler, and you're going to say, Isogenics rock star, and it's a bio, I live in Spokane, I have cows, and, you know, fill up my form. <laughs> and people are just going to go in, and you think about posting this on social media, where, you know, you've got 10,000 followers, or 2,000, or 20,000. Now, when people actually engage with you, and actually take the time to go through, you know, hey, swipe up to fill up my form if you want to learn more, now you're actually getting people you really want to talk to instead of just, you know, replying effortlessly or endlessly on your phone. These people are actually going to go feed directly into your prospecting. We're probably going to have a filter right here that can go directly to that. And then you're going to, be able to have that list there for you. And you open up Maggie's profile. It's going to have her info that she filled out in the form. So if you have an idea, Yes, please just send it through. Um, that is how we build, right? We're, like I say, we're really good at solving problems. Um, we need to know what the problems are. So the leader in action form, that was Tanya Kirkpatrick complaining to me one day about filling out this form. And I was like, what, what are you talking about? She's like, leader in action. I was like, well, what's that? She's like, oh, it's this form. You know, you track your points based on your customers and your PETs and what they enroll. It's like, well, we have all that information. Why don't we just do it for you? So that's how it works. So don't ever hesitate to send us yep. a message through here. We have four minutes. I, I have kind of a comment and I want you to give me feedback based upon, you know, you built this for your wife. You saw a lot of people use it. I'm going to share from my personal experience and I shared a little bit about this morning. I'd love your feedback on it. I find personally, if you have the ability to sit down at a computer and utilize this tool to be most efficient, the reason why is I'll start at my computer and then go finish on my phone the stuff that needs to be texted, whatever. Because what I found personally is when I'm on my phone, I end up getting wildly distracted. But when I'm on my computer and I can just start knocking things down, knocking things down, you know, straight to Messenger, straight to Instagram, I don't go into scroll. I mean, is that something you've, you've recognized from other people? That uh, you cut out there for a second, but I'm pretty sure I understood the question. Um, and we, when we built this, we figured it'd be 90% mobile and it's 50%. And it's exactly what you just said. So it's uh, an individual getting up in the morning, sitting down for 45 minutes to the computer, powering through some stuff and then running out for the day. And just like opening the app, I was here at my, at my daily list, doing a few things while they're waiting for the latte, close it up, come home do something else, kids at soccer practice, you know, working away, coming home, opening up their computer. You know, I, I personally love the computer. I love the mindset of like, I'm at my computer, I'm working. I love the real estate. I have three monitors here. So, uh, you know, like that's my personal preference. It's designed and built to work with you when you can fit this into your life. If that's on a mobile phone, great. If that's on the computer, great. If you're like me and you have all these monitors, also great. Doesn't mean you get more done though. Um, so I think there's a few comments here. I'm sorry for cutting out, but there is the ability to, you know, sync your contact list and that will load all the phone numbers from your contact list. You can do that as well. Um, On the mobile and, phone. Yeah. Yep. Um, with the, with the two minutes we have left. So if there, if you do feel like you're having technical issues, that blue chat button I showed you in the bottom right-hand corner, that's where you go. Our team will get back to you as soon as they can. 
as you can imagine, there's a bit of a volume this weekend, just a lot of questions. Um, in the menu on the one side, this little button at the very bottom, it says articles and videos. Every section in Penny, I've created a two or three minute tutorial. So if you're like, if you're wondering about the prospects, you're like, I remember Dave said something about when we were in prospecting, but I can't quite remember. Just go take the three minutes to watch it. And that might help your question. And if you watch that video and you still don't get it, just call Tyler directly. He'll, he'll see <laughs> So. Because I will straight text you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know. All right. On uh, that note, though, I do have to run because I'm, uh, yes. I'm, I'm headed down under after this. It's their morning. So I'm, uh, I'm going to go train for uh, one of the teams in Australia now. But Tyler, you, you know you can call me and I'll come back anytime. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, thank you, David. Thank you for the entire team. And thank you for building this, for You're recognizing welcome. what was going on with your wife and building it for all the rest of us. We are um, benefits of that. So thank you so much, dude. Hey, I love what I do. So anytime. And I'll be back soon, everyone. So have a great Thanks, evening. Dude. All right. Bye, everyone.